Hey, Corey here, Canadian RC guy. Well, if you can see behind me, we finally got our Traxxas modified. Let's spin this camera around and see what this thing is all about. So here we have it, the new Slash Mud Boss, or as they've changed the name to, the Slash Modified. Up here in Canada, we drive Canadian Modifieds for real cars on our dirt tracks. This is just like a nice little miniature version of it. We'll go over the box art and stuff here. As you can see, nice on the back. Gives uh, really good pictures of this thing. Nice green one, comes in a lot of different colors. Got all the colors there, and blue at the top. Orange is what we got. And they got a green one. Then this one looks like the blue one. Then they've got a pink one as well. So lots of different choices for lots of different people. So there's a good front picture of the one we have, the nice orange one. 35 plus mile an hour. Remember, battery and charger not included on these ones, just like most of the Traxxas vehicles. So here's the back side that everyone wants to see with all the new information. Um, low center of gravity chassis, comes with a new clipless mounting body. It's got those nice aluminum GTR shocks. They come color coded to the car. Same old Traxxas remote. It's got that high torque steering servo, and it's got that uh, servo saber on it as well. Got some new great Hoosier tires. It's got ball bearings all around. Um, one of the great additions to this thing is all the new uh, heavy duty suspension, the drive shaft, caster blocks, steering blocks, axle carriers, you name it, suspension arms. It's all nice and heavy duty. And of course it comes with that BL2S brushless power system. Um, so this thing should do pretty good on the dirt. Uh, so give us a minute, we'll break that seal, get this thing out of the box and see what it looks like. So there we go, we got it out of the box. We'll, uh, we'll go for a little bit of a closer, better view here in just a minute. Um, comes with all your regular stuff. Uh, this is another piece of foam for a different battery. Your little Traxxas toolkit. All your manuals and flyers, that kind of stuff. Of course, their uh, TQI, their top qualifier remote. And which is nice, what they give to you with these ones, is a nice couple of sheets of numbers. So that way you can uh, number your car all up, be different than everyone else, and know what car is yours. So here we are, a little bit more better view of it. Um, they did a really nice job on these bodies. They're really close to what we run up here in Canada, our Canadian Modifieds, as we call them. Um, I mean, they've got all the stickers on there for sponsor stickers, that kind of stuff. Obviously got the little man in there racing dashboard all that kind of stuff um great sparkly paint on this thing don't know how long that's gonna last um really nice set of hoosier tires i don't know if you could if you can hear it you can already hear it squeaking um we'll have to do some tire prep that kind of stuff but uh i hear the good things about these tires um obviously traxxas the new clipless body clip them under the front there the back's a bit of a pain in the butt you kind of gotta reach your hand way under there but there's one on either side Just like that, and the body comes yanks right off. Then we can get right into seeing all this new stuff. Well, I guess it's not new, but new to the slash, if you want to say. All that heavy-duty hardware. See all the A-arms in there, the caster blocks, all that kind of stuff. Nice orange shocks, match the orange body. Like I was saying before, whatever color body you get, that's the kind of shocks you get. Comes with a BL2 system. Once again, these great Hoosier tires. I think this is going to be a really nice little car to be ripping around on that back track. Um, and also, it all comes with a colored motor plate, and that should help with some of the heat back there. One of the things I have heard is uh, these are, do get a little bit hot when they're running, so that's something we're going to have to check out, keep an eye out. Um, we are going to do a full setup video here with this thing in one of the next videos or two, um, so hopefully you'll follow along for that. Um, we got a Probably about four or five, maybe even six things that you can do to this thing for pretty much free. No, no need to add any money into it, and it should really hope it uh, help it turn left. So give us a few minutes. We're going to walk out to the back track. It's not quite ready to run on yet, um, but we'll give you a, a view of where we are. And then we'll probably run this thing down. We've got some nice pavement that we can uh, run around, do some laps, and see how this thing does on the pavement, at least tonight. And within a day or two, we'll have that track done. We'll be able to be turning laps out back. 
All right, so we just went down the road to where there's some nice pavement that we can run on until the dirt track's ready. As you can see behind me there, we just threw out a line of tires. That way we got a nice little oval to do. So let's turn a few laps and see how this thing does on pavement. Not that we're gonna run it much there. We're gonna be pretty much dirt guys, but we figure until it tracks ready and we wanna give it a good run. So let's give it a few laps and see what happens. Sorry for a little bit of road noise. This is why we usually like to film at home, but uh, we don't have a big spot like this. Um, so just remember this is box stock. The only thing we did do was raise the body up. Um, hopefully that'll help from uh, it cutting into those back tires like I hear it does. But if we have to, we'll do a little bit of trimming after this. But uh, let's turn a few laps and see what this thing does. Definitely kind of have to use a little bit of brake out here. At least with running this uh, this small of a, a lap. She definitely pushes a lot more than, than it does anything else, which is probably good right out of the box. I don't know if you can hear those tires just a howling out of there. Oh. Give us one sec, we'll get that tire put back. Well, we definitely need to, to get some more open space. I can't wait to, to get that track back there finished up, but uh, this is a good little test drive. And we definitely have to use the brakes, that's for sure. But uh, right out of the box, it's, it's, it turns really well. I, mean, I can't complain any. These tires work really well. Oh, a little spin out right there at the end. Oh, we almost lost her there. Trying to do uh, some bigger laps here. That definitely seems to, to help. Hopefully you guys can see it all the way in the camera there. Well, there we go. I have to say that was a pretty good run. We'll uh, take this thing back to the shop. Talk about it for a couple more minutes. We'll end this video off. So here we are in the back, uh, just over here, there. That's where the rally track is. And then off to the side is where we're starting to build our little oval track. It's gonna be about a 50 foot long, 25 feet wide. We got about eight, nine foot wide lanes. So that'll be good for now. Um, we can obviously widen it up a lot next year, but we just wanna, you know, get some laps in this year. We're doing pretty good at this end. We've got it, I mean, lots of flattening out to do and some uh, vines and roots to pull out of the ground. But we got this corner all done. Um, we're still gonna bank it up once we get the wood around the corners and the outsides. Um, we're just working through here. We got one little bush tree to yank out. And that way we can finish this section. Pretty good on this side over here. Just got some dirt to move pretty much. Same thing down to this corner. A little bit more clean up and dirt to move. But here's our big problem right here is we got these three huge rocks in our way. You can see some of the sides of the roots that we've been yanking out of the ground and cutting out. Um, this week, at the end of the week, when we have our day off on Friday, as usual, we take long weekends every weekend here throughout the summer. Um, we're going to run ourselves a little jackhammer from the rental center, smash these rock rocks up into a couple of little smaller pieces, get them out of here, and then we can finally get this track finished. So we figured while we're back here, we might as well just finish this video off. As always, we want to give a huge thanks to Echelon Hobbies in Brighton. They're the ones we get our RC cars from. They're great. 
Um, if you want to buy something, make sure you go see them. We'll drop a link down in the description. Uh, they do models, RCs, miniatures. They've got a nice paint section. Uh, they got some model train stuff, just about anything you can think of. I think they're even getting into like Pokemon cards and stuff like that. So if you need them, go visit them. Great people. Uh, so with this car, I mean, it does push a lot right out of the box. That's going to be some of the things that we're going to be able to fix with some of the settings that we do or uh, that kind of stuff. Um, but we'll get into some of that, rebuilding this car a little bit. We are going to keep it as a box stock. So that way we hopefully we can get a class running a box stock here in our area. Hopefully other people have them or interested in buying them and will come turn some laps with us. Um, so we're just going to do some simple stuff. Nothing too big. But uh, we, we're enjoying this car. I think, you know, we're going to have a lot of fun with this over the next uh, few months until the snow comes up here in southern Ontario. Then maybe we'll have to see if we can find somewhere indoor to run. Um, but we'll worry about that in the future. So I guess, as always, if you're not already a subscriber... Hit that subscribe button down below. If you have any comments on things you've done for setup for these things, let us know. We'd always love some great help and advice. And if you could, give us that big thumbs up and share this video to all your friends. Helps us out a ton. So thanks so much, and we'll see you again next week.